Hi folks, Smash DJ here, video number two then on Virtual DJ. This time we're looking at the, the interface as a whole and some con looking at a controller that can control it as well. If you look down in the bottom right hand corner of this video now, you should see uh, an actual another video pane with this, the DMC2 attached to the actual the Mac with the virtual DJ software that you can see in front of you there. Now I've got some track load as you can see in the left hand deck there's Bad Habit Boys with Weekend, Dave Dowell Remix in the right hand side, uh, the top right hand side by the way is, is Dave Dowell Free Roader, uh, Free Loader sorry, the Spencer and Hill Remix. Um, now if you look at this controller you can actually see that I'm controlling, you can actually see that we're controlling um, the actual software with the actual controller this is the controller by the way is a new Mac DMC2 so you can see when I press play the software will start playing the actual song Q, Q will obviously Q from the Q point you've got set you've got hot cues which just which just obviously synchronize with the actual software itself with the hot cues obviously you can search through the song if you're going to see the the waveform moving there um, Obviously, there's effects on here as well that you can just change the effects of the actual on the actual unit. It just links to the effects what's on on the actual uh, virtual DJ itself on the software itself. So we get this playing. I'm gonna apply flanger. Can you hear the flanger there? Now also you've got smart loops on here as well that you can do instantly with the buttons just here where my finger is running across um, that just to say everything links back and forth from the actual software so 4 bar loop smart 4 bar loop straight away and obviously you can bring that down to create like an effect I'm not even touching the laptop here as you can see I'm just using the actual controller So the pitch, when I move the pitch slider, you can see the pitch slider on the actual software will move accordingly to what I've got it down here on the actual controller. You've got a sync button which basically the same as the sync button on the software will sync with the actual track you've got loaded in the, the, in the next deck. So if I hit sync on this track, you can see that the pitch on the actual um, on the actual software has moved to 132 BPM. Um, if you can't see that, I'll just move the mouse to the mouse there. That's so 132 beats per minute there, which is now exactly the same as the other side. Now I've got no headphones on here. Just put that in a four bar loop on the on the, the right deck. I've got no headphones on. Let's see how it goes. I'm looking for pitch bends as well just to get it in beat properly. And you can see it is in beat with the sync function. And obviously you can still go down your loops with this song that you're mixing in. So yeah, this this um, this actual hardware that I'm using here uh, is the Newmark DMC2 software controller. So basically, you've got your jog wheel as well, which you can do scratch with as well. Can't scratch at all. So you can browse through your files. Oh, scratch the one. You can browse through your files. So if I press file, and then I'm turning the rotary knob here. You can see it's moving up and down at the actual the file list, the library if you like, on the software itself. And you can actually go up and down your folders as well if I press folder, which is here. 
It'll go up and down the actual folders on the computer. So if I want some some bouncy house on, I go into there. And uh, so if I want it on the deck, it's not playing, which is this one. I just hit the hit the big grocery knob in the middle, uh, oh, the middle, the top. Sorry, and load on that deck. What you can actually do, um, if you haven't got an external mixer wired into this, there's a there's an actual button here. It says audio with left and right arrow. If I press play on that side, I can go straight across with the actual audio right button. Same, you can do that same with the video as well. And there's an auto mix function there. If you like, maybe you've got some background music on or something like that. If you've got some background music on or something like that for a wedding or something like that, you can actually use the auto mix function just to keep playing that until you actually start properly with the actual gig. If you had just a quick video, then we're going to look more in depth into what Virtual DJ itself can do, uh, incorporated with the actual controller, this down here, the new Mac DMC2. Looking at Virtual DJ Pro 7, uh, stick around for more videos. Thanks very much. Practice and enjoy.